yeah, it's going to be massive. I don't think I can kind of put into words um, what he's going to leave behind. He's done amazing things for the sport, not just in British tennis, but um, around the world. He's obviously a two-time gold medalist, um, multiple Grand Slam winner, um, and he's obviously inspired a lot of generations to pick up the, the racket. Um, so yeah, there's, there's only so much I can talk about Andy right here. I could talk for hours, um, but yeah, he's, he's an amazing person on the court and also off the court. Yeah, I mean, obviously what he's accomplished is absolutely incredible, what he's done for Great Britain and, you know, winning multiple Grand Slams and representing his country at the Olympics. But first and foremost, he is such an amazing person. He's inspirational to to young people, you know, who want to be involved in sport. He's, as a teammate, he's so much fun to be around. He's actually the most laid back person you'll ever meet. Um, and he, yeah, so far he's really enjoying this Olympic experience, even though it's his last dance. So it's really nice to see. Yeah, I mean, he's, um, when we lose him, he's gonna, there's gonna be a little hole in British tennis, I think. I think he's someone who's kind of held up British tennis for a very long time. He's uh, got a massive passion for this sport. And I think we all just have so much respect for him. And um, we see the love that he has for this game. And uh, if there's anything I'm ever gonna take from him, it's gonna be that I try and emulate what he's got for this sport and what he's done. It's, uh, it's truly special. And uh, I think we're all gonna miss him loads and uh, we look forward to where he goes next, but I, I don't doubt for a second he's gonna implant himself back in tennis somehow. Uh, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he does next.